Did you know that some fish can drown? And not in a fish coming up out of the water is the same as us going into the water equivalency of drowning. No, some fish legitimately are not designed to breathe air. So most fish need water to breathe. Almost all the fish breathe by taking in dissolved oxygen from the water over their gills, gas exchange, etc, etc. They don't actually take the O out of the H2O, that's not how that works. But most of them need water to breathe, and when you take a fish out of water, they will die because they basically suffocate to death out of the water because they cannot do gas exchange with oxygen in the air. But some fish don't do that. Some fish are like, nah. Some fish are what are known as amphibious, meaning they can be both in the water and on land in the air. Like this one. This is the woolly sculpin. It's a type of amphibious fish. Now, the woolly sculpin and multiple other fish are what are known as facultative air breathers, meaning that they can breathe both air and water. Now, for most facultative air breathing fish, they prefer to breathe water, they still have rather well-defined gills, and they spend most of their time in the water. However, in cases where there's very low oxygen in the water, they can also breathe air. So most of the time, they prefer to breathe water, they have very well-defined gills, and sometimes primitive lungs, but largely they breathe mostly through their gills in the water and on land. Or not necessarily on land, just out of the water, some of them don't go on land fully. But they largely still do almost all of their gas exchange through their gills or very, very primitive lungs. And for facultative air breathers, this only really happens where they do gas exchange out of the water when there's very, very low oxygen levels in the water that they're in, and there's not enough oxygen to actually facilitate gas exchange in the water through their gills, so they have to come up out of the air where the oxygen levels are higher. Now this is the African lungfish. They are still air breathing fish, but they're known as obligate air breathers, meaning they have to or are obligated to breathe air. Now, there are a few species of obligate air breathing fish, including the African lungfish, and they almost always have very, very, like, undefined and reduced gills. The gills are often way smaller, and they do all of their gas exchange, or almost all of their gas exchange, through lungs. Now, by doing this, it means that they have to breathe air. Their gills are not large enough or well-developed enough to do any more than a tiny bit of gas exchange in the water. So that means that these fish can actually drown. If they are unable to get to the surface to use their lungs to breathe oxygen from the air, they are not able to do enough gas exchange below the water with their tiny reduced gills, and so they end up essentially suffocating under the water as a fish. This is the mud skipper, another type of obligate air breathing fish, and again, it has very reduced gills and very well developed lungs. Now, often the obligate air breathing fish are still aquatic, they do spend most of their time underwater, they just come up whenever they need to take a breath of new air, much like whales and dolphins and aquatic mammals and birds do. Now, the lungfish can go up on land, but it does prefer to spend most of its time in the water, where it just has to come up from the water to breathe, and then it'll go back down and hang out. And that is the case with most obligate air breathers and most facultative air breathers in the fish. However, some obligate air breathers, like the mud skipper, these guys spend between 80 and 90% of their time out of the water, which does not really makes sense for most fish, but since they rely so heavily on air breathing, it just makes sense for them specifically to spend most of their time on land. Now that being said, they can go in the water if they so choose, and when they're on land, they still need to be very moist, so they are limited by where they can go, because they do need quite a lot of moisture in order to stay alive and still do gas exchange. So even if they do spend most of their time on land, they still need to be close to or in water. So that is basically just a fun little trivia fact you can tell your friends. Some fish have lungs and some fish can even drown in water.